Alright, hello everybody. It is Monday, which means it is time, of course, for some more Fallout New Vegas. Only this time, we are going to be doing uh, something a bit different. We are going to be starting the DLC for these games. <clears throat> for these games. For this game. Um, now... The big thing to keep in mind with uh, Fallout New Vegas, unfortunately, uh, or I shouldn't say unfortunately, uh, is that with the DLC side, uh, the DLC missions, uh, they are kind of expansive campaigns and you are kind of locked into them initially. Now here's the other thing. Uh, the DLCs that I am doing is not necessarily uh, going to be doing it in order. <clears throat> Excuse me. Instead, uh, I am doing this actually, technically speaking, out of order because uh, the DLC order release date uh, release was dead money then Honest Hearts, then Old World Blues, and Lonesome Road. How I, how I am going to tackle these DLCs, and, and by DLCs I mean these major content DLCs, is I'm going to be doing Honest Hearts first, which has uh, a little less bearing on the other three DLCs, which are all kind of interconnected. And then when I tackle said three DLCs, it's going to be Old World Blues, then Dead Money, and then lastly, it's going to be Lonesome Road. Because Lonesome Road is the kind of the climactic conclusion to one of the side characters that is referenced very heavily in the DLCs that we... Uh, take part in with the exception of Honest Hearts. So, with that in mind, I hope you all are having a beautiful Monday. Uh, I am definitely having a beautiful Monday too. At least, you know, now that it's kind of almost over, I guess. Uh, the other thing that I was kind of... Okay, thank you, Eddie. Um, but the other thing that I was kind of hint, going to hint at is that one thing that I both like and do not necessarily care for in regards to the DLC is that you are left with, uh, you'll have to abandon a lot of your weapons <clears throat> and your armor when you go on the trip to the Divide, which, or not the Divide, the Divide's the last one. Um... That's Lonesome Road. Uh, this DLC involves you going to... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I didn't buy that shovel in Good Springs. This involves you going to a northern passage to the Grand Canyon and Salt Lake. This is for... A DLC, but you do get to meet one of the more interesting characters uh, that's spoken of only in hushed references uh, in this game in the form of the Burned Man, the former legate of Kaisar. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Hang on. Mm hmm. Ain't you the one that wiped out the Crimson Caravan's Vegas branch not too long ago? Ought to thank you for that. Yes, in the last Dr. stream, Nicolai yeah. Out of the running gives happy trails of market to expand into. Uh, okay. Oh, Zion Valley, that's where it is. Right. <clears throat> I understand this ca can caravan is headed to Zion. What can you, uh, tell well, me about I the area? I've never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there, but that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. 
but we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a Pip-Boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good. I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got hmm. beaters all over the damn place. Tribes yep. of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Spoiler alert, we won't actually make it that way. We won't make it that far. Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. They're Tell me about these raiders. Crazy. Jacked up on cams, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Oh, I want to meet them. That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really hmm. got to watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Uh, how about a game to kill a caravan with the time? Okay, let's do it. Let's see. Zion, here we come. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts. I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? Sure. Who is Joshua Graham and why shouldn't I talk Just about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Oh. Tell me about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan into Zion and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if hmm. we make it into Zion. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, hmm. one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Mm-hmm. Tell me about Happy Trails Caravan. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. We run hmm. some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Why can't you get into Salt Lake Without City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too mm -hmm. far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Hmm. I'm gonna tell them about New Canaan, then. Don't know much about the place. But I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They controlled ah, the old so Mormons. Of ways north of Zion. And they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Ah, so Mormons. I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. Hmm. You don't know what happened to their nope. mission? Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Oh. I We're all ready to are. get going. But we only got room for one more on this expedition. You'll have to leave your friends behind. Oh. 
Yeah, you only gotta. Yeah, ca- you can only. Ca- reckon you will. Yeah, you can only carry seventy-five freaking pounds of equipment, which I call bullshit on because it's like they're carrying lightweight guns and ammo. What the hell am I gotta do? Fracker. So now comes the unenviable task. Now the good news is that I can come back after the DLC and get this stuff. The bad news is, yeah, I pretty much have to leave everything behind. Like, and I mean everything. Like seriously, what all this stuff I have to leave behind. Now, granted. Leaving a lot of this stuff behind actually isn't a terrible thing because, I mean, some of this stuff I, I don't have, like, the repair kits to, I mean, I don't really use it, so, and, like, it does kind of, like, ex it, it, I don't want to say that it's not worth it, it just doesn't, you know... Having the stuff that you don't need, I guess, weighing you down is kind of a a nice thing to have. Of course, the thing is, is I don't use a lot of energy weapons. Uh, I do want to keep at least one melee weapon on me. Uh, this is so stupid. Why would you rob me of basically everything that I can help you with and use? Well, I actually don't have nearly as many stim packs as I thought I did. Ugh. Uh. Okay, so. What else won't I actually need? Besides a lot. Uh. Do I have anything else I can offload? This is also probably, I think, one of the hardest DLCs to do on Hardcore Mode. This and uh, Deadly Brutal on Hardcore Mode. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't need that. Hmm. Sorry for the inventory uh, Tetris madness, but as you can see, it's not like I can carry. I can't carry this stuff with me. So yeah, I have basically no other choice. I have to do this. Uh, the Nuka Cola victories are extremely valuable, but I have no u use or plans on drinking them. Hmm. Oh, do I even use a stealth boy? I need to keep at least a handful of weapons on me. Yeah, I don't need these. Uh, don't need that either. Okay. All right. Service rifle for guns. Combat armor. I'll sure, hope castle. you know what you're doing. Mojave's getting tense. A uh, can you go back to uh? What? No mute. I need you to go back to Lucky Thirty Eight for All now. All right. Don't be long. Robots there give me the creeps. Where's Eddie? There you are, buddy. Sorry. I wish I could take you. That's the one thing, I mean, obvious, it should be noted that we're obviously going to get some new companions. Because we are leaving, we have to uh, leave them behind. Well, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it does suck to kind of abandon them, so yeah. All right. Who are you there, You looking Ricky? for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. 
So watch your ass around me. Sure thing, Mr. Vault. Unwanted. Unwarranted hostility, hostility in general. General agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? Hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho! How much psycho you got sashed away? You do anything besides talk too much? You could barter with him to carry more of your stuff. I see you're wearing a Vault Vault 22 jumpsuit. Huh. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Where'd you get the vault where suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault 22. That's where I grew up. You're lying. I've been to Vault 22 and no one's lived there for 150 years. Oh. <laughs> You've been to Vault 22, huh? I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got this suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? I see. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, just talking hypnotheoretically here. Got any suggestions? Hypothetically. <sighs> Hypothetically. Fixer. I can tell you a dose Never of fixer. Never said I wanted to kick the habit. Guess I can use it when I run out of the good stuff. How much? 80 caps. That much for a dose? Fucking robbery. All right, here's your money. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, whatever. I could sell him some psycho, but I'm not going to be a drug enabled Looking to druggie. join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Good stuff. Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, hmm. best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Huh. What was it like growing up in New Imagine Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Town's run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my mm. ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Not really. Tell me about Place Caliente. lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years hmm. and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired hmm. of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Makes sense. Were the 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them. So we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. What do you know about the White Used legs? to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. 
Eventually, oh the White boy. Waves destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Sounds like they would be Get of great use to Caesar's it. Legion. Hey there. Sounds like they'd be of they'd be of great use to Caesar's Legion. It Are sounds you here like. me a while longer. Are we ready to get this show on the road? Hang on. Let's roll. Ain't you? Oh, to thank you. Yeah, I, I, I know about that. Are you? There? All right, I'm ready. Let's go. You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one of a kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Strong back. Not only that, I'm sure why the weight limit. You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Not only could I carry my own gear, I could carry yours, his, and one of <laughs> your Brahmins. I do believe you could. All right, I'm ready to go to Zion you anyways. sure about that? Yes, well, I'm sure. All right, then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. Yes, sir. Fallout New Vegas presents Honest Hearts. The paths we're following are slow going. So you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades hmm. back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders hmm. wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch uh -huh. in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some mm. of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just mm -hmm. a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. But here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Since we made through that slot canyon back up there, ain't no way we're the bridge. Out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella! Yeah, we're trapped. The first time. And the fifteenth too. The new yep, Canaanites we're trapped. Know a way. And if they don't. We've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. 
Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. And attack. With reality, old Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. Okay, okay. We're not gonna get they don't they don't jump us just yet. But it's gonna be pretty quick. Ah There we go. God damn it! Ambush! Cover people! Watch yourselves! Yeah. We have we have no we have no way to save people, by the way. Although he actually made a good attempt. Yeah, apparently Ricky was saying something. Yeah, we don't have any chance at stopping them. I mean, yes, we can take them out, but there's no way to save everybody. Yeah, they're, they did. Yeah, they all did. Well. I would almost say I'm sorry, but I'm not. And and yes, now we can carry stuff again. Yeah, now we can carry stuff again. No, I didn't want to search Ricky. I wanted to search Stella, who brought a laser rifle of all things. And then this guy, he brought a grenade launcher. How kind of him. I think I'm just instead going to take his leather armor, though, so I can repair mine. White Legs Pain Maker. Pain Maker. There's something for you. Also, Tomahawk, new thrown weapon. So, yeah. And yes, I am taking my boss's money. Uh, why do you ask? Uh... So yeah, that went pretty well. Not. But anyways. But yeah, I'm like... I'm almost entirely positive you cannot save them. Which kind of sucks, but... It is what it is. I don't need the hunting rifle either. Da! Ah! Okay, so I didn't get them all. The service rifle can't fix. Now you know I wanted to bring this gun. For I wanted to bring that uh, the service rifle for just this fight because that fight is annoying if you don't have it. Ooh, 44, 45 auto. I forgot about the 45 auto, actually. If I'm being honest. So, yeah, I forgot about that. It's another new gun. One of the, like, a, literally a, a new gun. So, yeah. Alright, now we're gonna make it across the bridge, and... Okay, yeah, I forgot there's another one. So yeah, this is uh, how the DLC starts, and like I said, you better you better hope that you pack the right weapon to take these guys out. Oh, sh damn it! No. Okay, we're gonna have to redo that again because I forgot that the end the friendly NPC. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo this fight again because I forgot about the friendly uh, allied NPC that actually helps you take out that last white leg, which I swear I heard something up ahead. which is actually kind God of funny, it, all Ambush. things considered. People, watch yourselves. You want some assholes? You just pissed off the guy, and that means tricky.
Yeah, I'm sure they're real. Yeah, I'm sure they're real scared of you, buddy. Not even once. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I do not think you can save these guys. I think even if you go and clear out the road down here, they will still get, like, taken out from behind. <sighs> yeah, Storm Drummer, aka Shotgunner. Oh. Oh, geez, I actually am kind of low. There we go. Yeah, like I said, you turn around, they're all dead. I don't even know how it happens either, because it's like really fast. Like, you turn your back, you, you, you see all your friends behind you, and all of a sudden, wham, they're dead. Like, where? How? Hmm. They just are. <laughs> Your leather armor. Okay, I want the other guy's leather armor too. Uh, if I had better uh, overall stuff, I'd probably like be interested in the uh, in the hatchets and the uh, thrown axes, but I don't have that good of like a skill set for that. It's actually kind of nice that there's all this stuff here, though. Basically, if you, for whatever reason, or actually, no, not even for whatever reason, but you decided, hey, I'm going to leave all my stuff behind, well, now you're not completely screwed over. I want to find the other... The other caravan guard, because he's got leather armor that I'd want. Ah! Damn it! Okay. There. Ooh! Anti-material rifle! Nice! That's a really uh, late endgame weapon uh, that the NCR snipers actually use. So, that's actually really cool, and so they changed up the spawn for the weapon that you get. I would have preferred the 45 because the, uh, the 50 MG caliber gun is very rare. But then again, so is the 45 gun, so there's that too, I guess. Can I get what's in here? I don't know if... No, it's not worth it. Mmm... Okay, so now let us not kill the person who's clearly going to befriend us in Follows Chalk. I'm sure you guys saw that. Yep. Aha! See? Nice. Hoy, you, you got him, Tex. White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came in civil hour, but we hear about The civilized lands, what do you mean? I mean the lands beyond the valley. The place where the cities never fell. Where people don't live in tribes and forage just to survive. Joshua keeps saying it isn't paradise out there. But how can it not be, compared to this? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Joshua will want to know about you. Please, go to our camp on the Eastern Virgin. Tell him how you came to be here. All right. Good Let's sisters. go. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. Well, Stock is giving you the well-stacked Karenford. React... Well, reacting... Or reaching any summit in Zion Valley, such as ranger stations, will reveal all nearby map markers and inspire a heightened state of awareness through perception for three minutes. It's actually a pretty good perk. It's not like, oh, wow, I need this perk, but 
He's a fun guy. He's got a baseball cap, which I admit kind of just looks funny, but... And yes, he is a companion that we can talk to. Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. That's just basically your hint to say, hey, if you check certain things on the map or like certain like random things, you'll find like healing items and stuff. So yeah, it's it's definitely nice um, to introduce you to the more survival-esque parts of the campaign. Um, the one thing that uh, about this game is that you cannot we'll enter. This path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. Falls Chalk is kind of nice and cool. Um, but the one thing about this DLC is that the companions, you cannot enter any old world build them because they view them as taboos. A Yao Guai, aka a mutated bear. One of the other new enemies from this game. So yeah. Oh, that was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all going, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it though. Yao Guai are plenty mean as a rule. And as yeah, and I mean just <laughs> you'll never uh you'll you never get used the to the Yao Guai. If you want. Or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff, if you want to look. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying not to get us killed. I don't know if that even that even helped us. Ah, whatever. Oh yeah, and I probably should save, just in case. God, it feels so weird to be without my power armor. After basically just getting it. Random chalk drawings, yay! Uh, the one thing about this DLC is it's definitely not the biggest environment. Uh, it's... Around this rock in fact... In fact, if I'm being honest, I think this DLC, uh, Honest Hearts, is actually the smallest in terms of map area. I think the only other one that's, like, smaller is, like, uh, Dead Money. Because it's kind of in one centralized location, this one kind of requires a bit more walking. Am I even on the right path? Yes, I am. Of course, once you unlock fast travel locations, it's much easier. And oh looky, you even see a road. An old world road. Which something tells me follows chalk doesn't even... Excuse me, necessarily care... Ah! Oh, bow. Ooh, that was dumb. Thankfully, companions are just going to teleport to us. They're not going to take the fall damage. See? What did I tell you? Ugh. Now, you can do uh, side correct. Uh, side quests too. There are a decent amount of side quests, but there's more of a main story to this one. And this one in particular has probably got the most straightforward main story of them all. Oh, it's a mini gecko. Let's kill it. And yes, I mean, just like the white legs, these guys... Uh, these tribals are not opposed to using guns. Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's basically uh, one of the things, is that the people that work with 
uh, Joshua, who are the, uh, uh, I can't remember now, the wild horses or, or something, they happen to be uh, okay with using guns. The other group of people that we end up meeting in this, uh, they end up being uh, just. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places, places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Yeah, because uh, they mark them as taboo from before the war, but. Like he said, uh, Falls Chalk, thankfully, does not buy into that, so you can take him into these places. Uh, and, yeah, without any issues. And it's the dead horses. I, I knew it was something horses. Yeah. Even then, this is far from, like, the worst place to, that you can go to, obviously. It's a welcome booth, so there is at least something here. Take a park ranger hat. That's actually worth quite a bit of caps. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me. Can't wait. Yeah. I I, I don't see why not. There's useful and valuable tools there. For crying out loud, balls chalk. The hell? And yes, there are a lot of uh, campsites in this game. Oh, this is a cub. This is like a little one. Ugh. Yeah, like I told you, giant bear, giant mutated bear. Ugh. I'm probably gonna really run out of stim packs, and there's a reason. We're going to the dead horses camp. Well. Uh, I suppose it's probably this way. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot it is this way. Hope you don't mind getting wet. Hey. No, I really don't actually. Ah yeah, just follow the cave drawings. I suppose. These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. I'll bet. He seems to know. He seems to know what he's doing, especially if this is, in fact, well, you know, the former legate, Joshua Graham, as opposed to just some random schmuck that you happen to call. Also, apparently the radiation never got to Zion because... Or at least not to any significant degree because... Well, not getting irradiated in the water, so there's that. I... Yeah, I have absolute crap survival skills, so I cannot do anything. I do not know if there's any real benefit to like consuming most of the herbs. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow. Eh. That is true. And as you see a bear trap. I'm not worried about tripping over them. At least not in broad daylight. I could imagine that being an issue, like, in the evening. Like, when you're trying to go in and you, even with the pit boy light, can't quite see. But thankfully, in the middle of the day, the water's clear enough. To where, I don't think you'll see. Oh, hi, fishy. Nice small fishy, not mutated fishy. Da, 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 
Oh, sorry, I was just saying something to my... I don't even think I was saying anything to myself, I was just... Mentioning something. Fallen Rock Cave. I just wanted to see what that was, because that looked like it was a location from the map, and sure enough it was. It was. Bleh. Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there. In the Angel Cave. Angel Cave, huh? Alright. Speak with Joshua Graham. Dead Horses Camp. Yay! And of course, can't, you know, you take, can't take anything, so. Dead Horses Stalker, Dead Horses Warrior. Two bears high-fiving. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Hmm. <laughs> Oi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. Sneering imperialist. If you're too dumb to speak my language, you're too dumb to talk to me. Can I get lost? Ah. Uh, am I looking for Joshua? Yes, I am. Can you tell me where he is? You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Joshua in high place of cave. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. Back off, Savage. I'm just here for a map out of your sh Ooh, Not to kowtow to your messiah. I will make sure to be on my best behavior you then. You wise for Auslander. That is kind of nice, though. There's a bit of sneering that you can use the sneering imperialist for the dialogue, even if it is kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah, they speak tribalese. So, let's go talk to the man who knows English best. Well, English, I should say, because English implies that he doesn't know. But he does. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting. But I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group. But you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Yep, he's, uh... Yep, uh, he's just gonna sit there and reload all those guns, uh, just non-stop. He's gonna reload an endless supply of handguns. That's his, uh, his idle animation. And also, you'll notice his vest says SCPD, Salt Lake City Police Department. Nice little nod there. Happy trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to huh. join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the new Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now, not with everything that's going on. I'm not going to leave without, uh... Offering to help, what can You're I do? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Hmm. Taboo. The believe in a spirit that lives in the caves. 
say the spirit punished them once for trespassing. They put special marks around the cave entrances to keep people out. It doesn't work on the whitelings, of course, but the dead horses are spooked. I'll see Thank what you. I can do. Follows Chop can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Hmm. Nice. All right, so we get a level up before we continue. Or not. I thought we were going to get a level up. Uh, let's talk to Joshua Graham then really quick here. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to Joshua Graham Welcome really quick back. before we continue. What can I do for you? What did you say about a courier? Who are you expecting? Yeah, this is the first less uh this is the first reference, bleh, to a another courier that you uh hear about through the various DLCs and you finally end up meeting in the Lonesome Road DLC, which is why I said we're gonna do it last, because it's technically the last DLC canonically. But we'll learn more about the mysterious courier who's named Ulysses all throughout the other DLCs. So, yeah. Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii mm -hmm. and assassins that have come looking. I've heard mm -hmm. one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory, but maybe this one survived. <clears throat> I met Caesar, you know. What would... What would you... What do you think he would say if I told him you are here? You can all, There's also unique dialogue if you've actually killed Kaisar, by the way. I think that would put him and you in a difficult position. Caesar has agents looking for me, but he won't admit I'm alive. And even right. if you killed me, he can't acknowledge that. To do so would be to admit I had never died. That Caesar made a mistake. No. He lives by his lies and shall die by his lies. There is no escaping it. Huh. Interesting. And also, gotta love how just about everybody in the Legion calls him uh, Kaisar, but uh, he calls him Caesar. I'm a Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come hmm. when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. Uh -huh. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Uh-huh. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Wait, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a nice guy. Sounds like a good In deal. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Very physic, uh, very, uh, f philosophical. Do you ever fall, Joshua Graham? Every day. Some days are harder than others. Hmm. Nice In guns. the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White huh. are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke Damn. into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of uh -oh. course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This huh. type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning huh. its use, is a new Canaanite rite of passage. 
I see. So he's a four. Or he's he's a forty-five guy, forty-five cal gun guy, huh? Do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel huh. is a spiritual leader and main link of the New Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Hmm. What's going on with all these a tribes? Great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this huh. camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're New Canaanites. Hmm. Why the light white legs uh white legs attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a white leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as ah. for why they are here, they are trying <clears throat> to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's huh. Legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called <clears throat> Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak <clears throat> a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was <clears throat> a translator years ago. But it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. That's true. Joshua Graham is not just like this brute who served under Kaiser. He was an intellectual, a translator, and an ambassador in many ways. The valley belongs to God. But no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Hmm. Before I return to the fold. I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how huh. to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Hmm. Why haven't I seen any sorrows, the sorrows in the have valley? many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Huh. So the dead horses are, in fact, uh, basically the muscle. We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe. A linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places. Metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Huh. Very interesting philosophical way to put the idea of the communities we build and in humanity, obviously within the post-apocalypse, but uh, still... Very interesting. Of course. Joshua Graham offers a lot of insight on this. For uh, for we everything, do. really. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. Now... Figures now, of course, he would have uh, he would have his own an auto pistol. Why wouldn't he, honestly? Like you know, I mean, it'd be very he'd be very suspect if he didn't have his you know forty fives. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab grab some of these, a firebomb, which is another is a Molotov cocktail variant on a grenade. Weapon binding ritual. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing any of that. <laughs> so 
stuff to help your uh, war club. If you decide to go down that route, weapons ri uh, wise, wise, wise. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have any of the ammunition that I use, which, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, he doesn't have any of the 50 MG ammo, which is what I'd hoped he would, sadly. Uh, you know, I don't even... I guess it doesn't weigh anything, so... Excuse me, I'll keep it. But I just came to realize, wait a minute, I don't need that particular thing because I don't necessarily have a reason to use it. I will sell some of the drugs that I have because I don't, again, I do not use this stuff, so... I'll keep the medex just in case, but I don't need, like, jet. I don't need steady. I don't even need whiskey. He also does not have any armor, so there's that, too. But, eh, there we go. Good thing I had plenty of caps. Right now, Can I ask like you some to personal questions. Helping Daniel, maybe there will be time later. Oh, all right. God be with you. Yeah, so that's basically his way of saying. I mean, yeah, I can talk with you about this stuff, but please later. I'd rather you just focus on helping my friends, which understandable, obviously. I do not have a lot of 45 auto ammunition, so I will not be using those guns right away, sadly. Once again, can't take anything from here without it being considered stealing. But... Uh, itchy. Now we've met the man, the myth, the legend, Joshua Graham. Now we can... Try and, uh find the people that we need to. Actually, let's talk to Falls Chalk and see if we can get some backstory from him. What can I tell you? Tell me a little bit about this area. Any interesting wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew, my guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf yeah. doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Maybe I can yeah. help with that. Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off, and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. What would you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. All right, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. What can I tell you? Uh, any idea where to start looking for these free war supplies? Best place Daniel's to look needs? for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there, and even white legs don't like them much. What are taboo Lots places? Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Well, I believe in ghosts, so... Lots uh, yeah. of back-when places to choose from. But for the things we need, best to start with the really closed-up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest, and the general store right by it. 
closer to home hmm. might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell, just west of the Eastern Virgin. What's this place where the little ones fell? In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. Lots of little that kids. old stuff. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. Nice. I don't have any questions. Tell me about Joshua Graham. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. Understatement of the century. The only recent war I know is when Caesar's Legion attacked Hoover Dam. Is that where he fought? I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? Huh. <laughs> it's the biggest... It's the biggest dam. You'd be surprised what civilized tribes fight over. <laughs> now, you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better. That I should stay here and forget the outside world. Small, have you ever seen Hoover Dam? It's bigger than some of these mountains. <laughs> really? That's... My gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. Uh-huh. Who are those tribals that attacked White legs. Me? Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Where do they That's come from? That's the weird part. Normally, the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know uh -huh. what brought them down this far south. Makes sense. I want to know what more about you. you. Why do you... Why are you called Follows Chalk? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Ah! What are all those tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Huh. Tell me about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse. Though, why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided. Huh. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Ah, so the Legion? Wait, what about when Kaisar? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him. Burned, broken, but changed. He led us away yeah. from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. Yep, that's about right. What did Joshua do for if you? If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He <laughs> taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. What do you know about the new Canaanites? Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times. But I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. What's with the shell casings on your we club? We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe. So now, they are ours. Can't say they seem <laughs> that dangerous to me. But Joshua says they... won the West. Do you remember anything from about Joshua from before he became Only your leader? A I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, hmm. I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, 
I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Why is it so important that we fight the well, White Legs? Because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. I don't have any more questions. And that's it for Follows Chalk. Go with Fortune. Yay! And boo! Why can't we open anything? Yeah, that. Ah, crap. I was kind of hoping that we wouldn't have to go back through the cave, but we do. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. Gotta love that noise that we make as we're going through the cave, though. And yes, he does actually have benches for you to craft stuff, which I just kind of find funny. It's like, hey, you know these, you know what's really out of place here? Crafting benches. You know what you need, you might need if you're a survival character? Crafting benches. I mean, I'm not complaining about that, it's just, you know, in general. So, yeah. So yeah, the plot thickens, even if it is a pretty simple idea that, you know, hey, the White Legs are trying to destroy dead horses and sorrows, and, uh, you know, if, if you're at all, uh, if you're at all a decent person, you don't want that to necessarily happen to them, kind of thing. Okay, so we can crash, yeah, roadside attraction. The scout bus, which is unfortunately just a little kid, is unfortunately little kids that have uh, died that were on a field trip to Zion Valley, which, in all honesty, that's that's got to be a pretty cool field trip. You know, it sucks that obviously the Fallout apocalypse happened, but I'm not doing the Big Horner quest. There the big Horner really quest be a place where people go is annoying. And give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Is that surprisingly, yes, there is. I will hear nothing of it, Falls Chalk. You saw that thing snarl at me. I was taking no chances. Okay. Ah. Oh, down there, okay. Well, that's where we need to go. Real question is how do we get down there without breaking our freaking legs? Because I know for a fact I could jump down there and I probably would end up killing myself if I did. It's gotta be an incline. Maybe we go down here, that'll be a lesser fall. It's gotta be because there's... There we go, okay, that is... Yeah, this is one of the few uh, areas in the game where you can actually drink water to your heart's content. And, uh... Said, uh... Water will not irradiate you. I heard the combat music. I don't see the enemies. So. But yeah. Poor kids. They must have run off. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. Uh oh. Yeah, so spoiler alert, even if you end up taking care of Vault 20, uh, Vault, yeah, Vault 22, uh, which is where the plants, that was the one with the plants, uh, yeah, even if you end up taking care of that, uh, you end up still, uh, having them in the Zion Canyon. 
And it's actually kind of interesting, all things considered. Uh, because you go through all that effort, and if you actually don't... If you actually don't uh, know about Vault 22, like you don't go to Vault 22 before you come to Zion... It's actually kind of interesting because, yes, they do, the plants do show up as enemies, but they're very infrequent and you have to go to certain places. So. This? this is why your own two feet are better than any cart, whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. Well, she's not stupid enough to assume that any car that's driven automatically goes on its own kind of thing. I did. I found the compass. Game. Right? Found the compass. Oh. Pair the compass. Aha! Level up! Yay! All right. Hooray! All right, now what to level up? Uh, uh, survival, I guess? Let's see now here. What is down at the very end of the perk list that I can get? Nuclear Chemist. Grim Reaper Spirit. Weapon Handling. Itchy, sorry. That I actually want. Cutting weapon, cutting heavy weapons in half. Obviously does not apply to modded weapons, but that will actually save me a lot going forward. In fact, the fact that it cuts, I think every single one of these in half, except for like the armor, that's very nice. So yeah, we're, we're basically doing some old school stuff here now. And by old school, I mean we're discovering, uh, we're discovering like random, like, things that we can use to help the, uh, people of Zion Canyon. by going to these old world buildings. Lots of giant ants around here. We call them picnic killers. Don't really know what that means. Something from back when. Huh. Nice. Oh no, white leg bone breaker. Also Damn you. Ow. I'm a little woozy. Oh no, poison. Gotcha. Thanks, Falls Chalk. Um. But yeah. Ah, Mantis Gauntlet. Nice. Um. But yeah, for the record. Um. I'm trying to think now here. Oh yeah, but the, but the, ah, but yeah, that is kind of funny. Oh no, yeah, they 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 put the put the poison on there. Cures animal poison. Well, I got this. 
probably will need much more of that going forward. Ant burrow. Ah, great. I stumbled on the ant burrow and I didn't mean to. But yeah, that's actually kind of funny. They call them picnic killers. Get it? Reference to, you know, obviously an ant ruining a picnic. That's kind of funny. I liked it anyways. That was a cute little thing there. We're kind of technically on the right path, but we could also... Not be... Uh, a storm drummer. Drummer. A brush gun, which I have no real skill with. And that dog is just glitched. I don't think we're going to kill him, Falls Chalk. I respect the effort, but I do not think you're going to kill him, sadly. Of course, the problem is you can't wait with him nearby either. I just realized I better stop burning your stim packs like they are Halloween candy. Or else I am gonna have none left. Wherever they pleased. And not worry about white legs and deadly critters. That's true. Heh, <laughs> nice. Even a communal toilet. Yeah. Again, the funny thing is about Followers Follows Chalk is he is not like completely ignorant and stupid of the old world. He just obviously doesn't understand like the the main things. I am kind of curious though. It said that that was supposed to be a giant ant burrow, yet we saw no giant ants. Does that mean that we the white legs killed? drove them off because if so I mean great but I didn't see them okay so we are still headed in the right direction of the fishing lodge East Fork Bridge which gotta watch our steps or else we'll fall through all right more mantises no big deal oh Except when there's two of them. Hang on, Falls Chalk. There you go. Got him. I'm sure there's probably one down in the canyon there, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, yeah, there's... Ooh, there's Cazadors down there, too. No, you fool! Ah, Yao Guai Cave. Why do I not feel safe? You know what? Fine. He'll respawn over to me. He'll respawn over to me and I apologize that he's his dialogue has been cut off, but yeah. Whew. Okay. I was just Trying to make sure that when I fell, I didn't fall completely all the way over, like, to the point where I'm, I'm like, I'm dead. I'm so dead, kind of thing. And thankfully, that was not the case. Now, it, okay, it is up here. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Falls Chalk. Oh no. Oh, it's a, a dead horse. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Alright, here's the fishing lodge. The funny thing is, I don't actually remember going in these buildings. I can't remember if I circumvented this somehow or what, but it almost kind of feels like I did. Then again, maybe I didn't do it. I did it like on my own time or something. I can't remember that. Yeah! Yeah, young geckos. Okay, what the hell is that? Oh! Oh, yeah. Uh, 
I just got killed. I don't know if that was poison or what, but they just murdered me. Okay, thank God. I was gonna say, uh, please tell me the autosave is not, does not put me that far back. Uh, do I use my shotgun? Yeah, I'll use my shotgun because, ugh, it's creepy. I'll use this riot shotgun because I do not want to use my grenade launcher in such a close range. And that did nothing. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was... That was brutal. Oh, and of course they poisoned you. That's what killed me. That's what killed me. Of course, now I have no uh, healing items left for poison. That's just... The dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. Tch! Speak for yourself, bro. We pretty much got our asses kicked. Okay. Like, seriously. I do not know how we survive that. I love how the old world food is technically still irradiated. I'm gonna see if I can unlock the door. And I'll come back for the key if I need it. Maybe I will. Okay. Sorry, itch. You know, I've recently been playing uh, Terminator. Uh, oh, found the walkie talkies. Yay. Um, but I, I recently just uh, started uh, Terminator uh, Resistance uh, for my own personal playthrough. And uh, yeah, just the lock picking minigame is still a thing. Uh, and it is alive and well in even a game that was released in 2019 like uh, Terminator Resistance was. <clears throat> it's kind of funny that way, actually. I see, if you didn't... At this point, if, though, if you don't have, like, average lockpicking, I honestly kind of have to wonder, like, what the hell you are specking yourself into at this point. Because there's, like, really nothing that should prevent you from having decent uh, lockpicking at this point. At least to open an average door. Alright, there's nothing else here. I really gotta get better at starting these streams, uh, like at at least 6, 6 p.m. That's on me, if I'm being uh, honest, because I really should be, uh, more on top of them, uh, or on top of things, but... Ooh, excuse me. I also admit to being just kind of tired and then it kind of slips my mind a little bit more than I'd care to admit to. I'm actually going to save because I don't want to redo that again. Feels good to be doing some actual scouting, not just following. I'll bet. I mean, he's an interesting feller, Ch Falls Chalk. I, I kind of like him. I wouldn't say that they're the best companions, uh, the ones that you get in this DLC. Uh, and I won't say that they're actually the most interesting, like, overall entirely. I think... Ah, damn it! Ah, great. You know what? I'm dead anyways. I'm loading that save. 
Last best hope of human for humanity. Yeah, unfortunately, I was dead pretty much anyways. The poison would have got me. Yeah, because... Oh, there he is. Because I was like, how did we get jumped by the thing? Fucking Cazadors. Hate them. Like, if there's one enemy in Fallout New Vegas, I hate. And it's funny because... Talk about an enemy that you hate that's even more notorious in Fallout than the Death Claws. And you're talking about the Cazadors. It's, it's ludicrous. Ugh. Okay. I'm almost out of ammunition for the service rifle, too, which just sucks. All kinds of, you know what. I haven't done that many saves, so might as well. It's actually kind of, uh interesting that I've been playing this game for nearly 40 hours and now I'm getting the DLCs and like I said I've done quite a bit of the major DLCs or not the DLCs the uh, side quests so a lot of it's actually kind of coming down to like locking in the main game before the final battle of Hoover Dam as it were Okay. Get across the river here. And hope to God not get poisoned. That's like literally. Nah! Oh! You're welcome. You're welcome, surprise. I honestly did not see you coming, but thank you for that. This gun sucks crap against against somebody. Who would have thought tribal armor is uh, apparently? Yeah, who would have thought tribal armor? Apparently, uh, ah! games. yeah. Of course, he dies pretty all easily. Those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Shave Gares? I believe that's how it's pronounced. Don't. If I actually was a character that specialized in unarmed stuff this is or if you're a character that specializes in unarmed uh weapons this is actually a very very good dlc Fighting like really it is it's it's a very very good dlc if you want uh unique weapons and stuff if you're an unarmed character or a melee character and so Got got a lot of ammo for my 9mm. I guess I'll dust off the unique Maria. Check it. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. I actually don't want to use this because... I would much rather use... Uh non-special weapons when I can. You know what? Riot shotgun, biatch. Suck it. Nice. Now I can take his... There. Now I can take his gun. You know what? I think I'll use my final weapon repair kit on this. There. Much better. Okay. 
Yeah, no shite, Sherlock. Although not quite what I expected. I was half expecting something completely different. Those, um, what did you call them? Uh, Waki Takis? Those are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke signs. Huh. Makes sense. Very glad you agree. Okay, so into the general store. Alright, let's see what tries to kill us in here. Oh. More wildlife? Boring. No, seriously. I was expecting something a mite bit tougher. There's what a Nuka Cola truck looks like, in case you were curious, like a miniature version of it, anyways. I think I should be able to handle that. If I can't, then I will get it, but... Take little scout lunchbox. Okay, yeah, so there's another mole rat in there. Sunset sarsaparillas, don't mind if I do. Okay. Yes, you do actually... You do actually find, uh, special snow globes. And, yeah, that's where you find the one in Zion. And you just automatically get paid the caps, uh, from Mr. House. It's just transfer your account automatically. I don't know how they know, but there you go. There it is. And I've got enough aid items now to just get a little bit of HP. With some bottle caps. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Screw off, you giant mole rat. Be doing some actual scouting, not just following. Yeah, Fowler's Chalk can get a little repetitive with his uh, his shtick, but eh, he means well. And plus, I know why. It's probably because the game just doesn't have that many lines for companions in this DLC, so. Well, let's go for the double XP, shall we, folks? I said, let's go up there. RE shipping error. Hi Manny, this is Horace Appleholm. Out of the Zion General Store I placed in order three weeks ago for the Deluxe Mountain Man all-in-one survival kits. You know, the ones that come with the compass, a pair of walkie-talkies, and a full first aid kit. I'm writing to you because I still haven't received the shipment. I'm fresh out of kits up here, and with the summer tourism season, I'm gonna need the new ones ASAP. Huh. Bus tour. Your Scoutmaster Mitchum, thank you for thanks for following up. You all have be happy to know that the little scout lunch boxes you already have arrived. You can pick them up at the general store in Zion. The general store is open Monday through Saturday, seven in AM until nightfall. We look forward to seeing you and your scouts on Independence Day. Apparently they never came. Mandy, who the hell is running this shipping company? I've just received three three crates. Three crates of Dinky the Dinosaur TM officially licensed dino action dolls. These things were supposed to go to some tourist trap in Nevada. How the hell did they get here? Mandy, what the hell can I do with this stuff? Maybe if I file the Dinky, file off the Dinky trademarking, we can turn them around as some kitty souvenirs and make a few bucks. But I'm still looking at a major loss here. Whatever's going on in your shipping department, take care of it, or I'll find somebody else to handle my orders. I swear to God, yours, Horace. P.S. I still haven't received that order of survival gear I requested last month. You know, the things you people actually s I can actually sell to people? Damn. Not a good day to be Horace. Or to own a general store. Oh, well... 
Because apparently we needed three of the little scout lunch boxes. Actually, it appears we might even need another one because it's still not marked complete. Sorry to shut the door on you there, Falls. I just didn't want to have like a safe that I I was missing. Five. We need five of these? Well, crap. Alright, I'm going into first person mode to see if I can see this better. Oh, silence 22. How did that get there? That's not something you want in a general store. For children? No, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm being very meticulous here because I don't want to miss... I can't remember where... The, ah, here's one. One more left. I walked past it. I might have walked past it. Was it in the box here? Was it in the box there? I hear some odd things the about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? Oh, he's talking about the the, the dinky the dinosaur. I was like, wait a minute. Balls chalk, I don't know what you're getting on about, but no, it's not the case. can't have walked past it, can I? Maybe it's outside? Eh? Well, let's see. Maybe I did walk past it. It's not in the desk. It's not here. Okay, so it's in here somewhere, it would seem. Oh, there it is. Clever. Clever, clever. I said clever. Thank you. I think one of the only times I'll have to move something like that. Yay! We did it! All right, so we're going to finish getting these old world supplies. And I'm going to call it a stream. Oh, hey, looky dokey. It's raining. Who throws flour away? Eh? Hey, uh, falls jock. Never mind, I got him. I told you it looked suspicious, the wild dog. Are you gonna attack? Okay, what am I looking at, game? A plant person that is running, gonna run away from us? Because I don't see him. Oh. Oh, a mantis up here. Oh, Zion Mantis. Well, he did some more damage than I expected. Alright. Uh, okay, never mind. I was like, wait a minute. Nope. I don't know if there's anything inside here, but, and by that I mean this lodge, ranger station, enemy-wise, but, yeah, mantises. Oh, no, uh, bark scorpion. Okay. Here we go. Huh, 
Could be worse. It's actually kind of funny how, out of all the wildlife we confronted, the most difficult one was actually in the, uh, that fishing lodge. It's like the first place you go had the hardest enemy. Enemies. Bethinks that was on purpose, almost. Almost thinks it was on purpose. Oh, 40. Nice, I can always. <clears throat> excuse me, I'll always take bobby pins. Interesting ra little ranger station they had here. <laughs> Liquor. Well, I sure want these guys looking after my kids. All liquored up. No, I'm just kidding. Toolbox. Okay. Hmm. So I finally get to explore. All those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Ah! Wait, okay. But several sterile bandages have been broken open and the disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try and salvage. What's there? Or you can find replacement com components. Alternatively, you can reuse alcohol to sterilize the kit. Manages. Uh. Some high proof alcohol. Okay. That's what you, uh. Yep. That's what you use for these. Sterilize the kit with alcohol. Haha! -ha! Victory. Damn it. Damn it. Excuse me. Oh come on. Haha! -ha! Black coffee. How does that... How do you lose agility points for coffee? Not... Does... That does not compute, game. Like, seriously. What the heck? Yay! Hooray! That's actually a pretty good haul. Because... Bip, 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 bip. And yay! And my combat armor is still good enough. Okay. Hmm. All right. good news is that these guys are not that far so I lied I'm gonna actually go to the sorrows camp and then after that we'll call it a stream figure that's more reasonable well Yay! Lock cell door? Hard? No, not for me. Almost didn't even need to do a damn thing. Come on. 
Absolutely hate when you when it does that. Yeah, you get to see the riot shotgun up close. Why was there flamer fuel in the uh up here? You know what? I don't even think I wanna know. I mean it's mine now, that's part of the reason why. Eh. Okay. Oh, frack. Cazador. You know what? No. No, 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 no. First, I didn't realize I didn't do that. Second, yeah. Suck anti material rifle, bitch. And of course, I missed. Hit him! Okay. Falls Chalk's gonna take care of him. Cause it doesn't matter if he gets poisoned. <sighs> you know, ordinarily I'd agree with you, but... To be perfectly honest, I'm just glad the thing's dead. Well, I got out of first person mode too soon because I want to be able to see. Combat knife. Okay. Well. Yeah, from this grand vista. Nice. Alright. Caterpillar's Mound and the Sars Camp, which we are on the path to going to right now. He said as he's hoping to not fall to his death. Haha. -ha. I mean, yeah, once you once you get where you need to go and fast travel, obviously it's not too big of a deal. Getting there is the hard part. We discovered Caterpillar's Mound, which I don't even know what that is. And this should be just a straight shot because <clears throat> it's the narrow as it says on the sign. But also, you know, hey, follow on the path, along the path of the water, and you shall find. Where'd you go, Falls? Chalk? Falls Chalk? Chalk, Chalk? I don't know where he went. Well, it doesn't actually matter. Because... You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. I like your bear glove. Where can I get one? Asaro's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own, and only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Fascinating. Give me some more info on Daniel. Who Daniel is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the Holy Books. 
Anglish. How long have you known him? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the hmm. ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Yes. Holy books. The language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. What? Let's talk about something else. What Waking is your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to sorrows. Mid huh. Midwife? I haven't seen any children out around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. What do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend babies? to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Tell me more of your tribe. We have dwelt in the narrows since the end that came in fire. When the father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the holy tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before salt upon wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. What do you know about salt upon wounds? He is war chief of the white legs and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Who or what is Have the father of the, in the, the cave? Have you not heard of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard from... I see, that's fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. That's all I wanted to know then for I now. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Yay. The Dead Horse Tribal. Alright, so we're going to talk to Daniel and then I'm going to call it a uh, stream. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. They have sensitive souls, innocent if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, hmm. I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. Joshua, why do you seem so eager to uh, uh, evacuate Zion? You don't seem to be a pacifist. There's an old saying that goes, if you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. 
You're right to leave, but I don't think you should kill any of the white legs. If you're killing to defend the sorrows, why not produce? That's an awful lot of responsibility to the take on. The new Canaanites on. interfered in their lives. We did that. And we've done it before, with others. Always with good intentions, but things go wrong. When that happens, we can't just abandon them. Let them die at the hands of New Canaan's enemies. Joshua's come up with a reasonable alternative. Why not Joshua fight them? Joshua doesn't just want to fight the White Legs. He wants to annihilate them. The stakes are too high for their tribe. Hurting them won't dissuade them. If they can't join Caesar's Legion, they'll die out in a generation. They've never learned how to survive. Food preservation, tanning, even basic hunting and cooking seem beyond them. They only survive by scavenging and raiding. But that can't last. They'll only stop if Joshua and the dead horses can kill their war chief and their entire war band. That's exactly what he intends to do. What do you know of the White They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows war has no And so he'll lead her. What do you I do used here? I to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. You said you used to help, but now what? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problems <clears throat> to become their problems. The new Canaanites. <clears throat> The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Has this already happened before? The White Legs attacking other tribes? Yes. <clears throat> but not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors, slavers, anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the tar walkers and the crazy horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. The White Legs are already here, so what's to your plan? To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Of course. Let's talk about something else. What do you know about the fathers in the caves? Father in the... Oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Um, you might want to have a, ch a chat with them. They think your lord and the father are the same. Oh? Oh. Of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Joshua told me you needed a few things. Well, I think I'll this be. is everything. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this. Much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a gentile. Or, uh... No offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white-leg attention... 
I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Anything I can do to help you, I will. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Sounds good. Pre-war mining explosives. They aren't useful as weapons. But perhaps they can be used as certain caves. Falls Chalk has returned. And... Yay! A level up. So, I will level up, and then after that, I will save, and I will call the stream. And... There. Alright. And... yeah. So. Excuse me. So yeah, it's another quest of three here, as you might expect. But uh, yeah, this was a good length uh, stream. Yeah, this was a good length stream. Uh, we'll save, and yeah, I'll definitely I'll call it. And uh, next week, we'll be continuing with more. Uh, Fallout New Vegas Honest Hearts on Thursday I will be streaming more Ghost of Tsushima so uh, yeah and then maybe some other streams might get thrown in along the way maybe not but thank you all for watching hope you all stay happy stay beautiful and stay sane and ta-ta for now